This is why I, I've been speaking a lot and working a lot with the concept of reverence uh, and seeing with eyes of reverence. Uh, and this is especially important in our political culture right now, because when, and this is, you know, um, whatever, liberal, conservative, everyone is seeing the other side through this dehumanizing lens of they must be evil, stupid, immoral, uh, and 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 irrational to believe the things that they believe. Unlike my side, you know, unlike me. They're deplorable, they're despicable, they're like they're inexcusable. And and if you believe that, then the only path to a better society is to defeat the other side. Everything becomes a battle. And we have a society now that's incinerating much, if not most of its energy in fighting itself. So how are we ever going to, to uh, meet the challenges that we face today, which are actually easy to solve if we are in coherence? Environmental crisis, easy. You know, you just, if you, you, if you look into permaculture, regenerative agriculture, like you realize that we could draw down like all anthropogenic emissions and produce even more food than we produce today and restore biodiversity all at the same time with, you know, I mean, it would take maybe 10% of the workforce to work on land instead of 1% like we have today. But I mean, easy. All of our problems are easy to solve. The, 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 the Ur problem, like the overarching problem is that we dehumanize each other and we are acting from this habit of of war of fighting which again is grounded in the story of separation in which yeah. existence is a war of each against all